good morning students good morning to all yesterday we have studied about the warehousing facilities and the transportation also some of the point or uh, some of the concept only we have completed that's enough the remaining portions you can easily study it if you have any doubt ask me then we will go to the next chapter next chapter chapter 15 the insurance so this is also the insurance also one of the aid to the commerce or trade so only we are studying the insurance in this commerce so why the insurance is need in this commerce or in this trade already we have studied every business is exposed to different type of the risk such as fire and the theft and some of the accident etc some of the risks can be transferred to specialized institutions known as insurance companies because most of the traders and the producers also will have the possibilities to get some of the risks and all of them also want to get some of the claim from any of the institutions and because of that sometime suppose they will unable to involve in these productions or the commercial purposes so this insurance companies substitute this uncertainty by providing financial compensations if you have some of the chances or possibilities to claim the ratio of fund we have made already in these production purposes and established in these commercial organizations we can get some of the confidence to continuity our organizations so insurance is nothing but socialization of risk the insurance companies indemnify the loss of the insured So next the meaning of insurance the insurance is a contract between the insurer and the insured under which the insurer undertakes the compensate the insured for the loss arising from the risk insured against consideration the insured agrees to pay the premium here the two persons are come to the contract the insurer and the insured the insurer is considered as a insurance company and the insured who is going to make the insurance is called as insured the insurer is a insurance company insured is the people who has made the agreement or paying to the premium to the insurance company so now the insurance the insurance company and the insured are coming to the contract so under which the compensate the insurer undertakes the compensate the insured for the loss arising from the risk insured against consideration the insured agrees to pay the premium so we know already in our normal days the insurance companies also will give, give some of the financial assistance and because of that the insurer sir the insured have to pay some of the premium amount on the considered time so insurance is a means of providing monetary coverage against loss caused by natural or man made factors normally so all the commercial organizations or all type of the trade and the trader also will come into the subject of the losses so if they have get any of the losses one of the company or one of the organization must be needed to provide or compensate that losses so the insurance companies are taking that all responsibility to compensate the risk arising in any of the business organizations so we can consider the insurance the insurance is a plan by themselves which large number of people associate and 
transfer the shoulders of all risk that attacks to individuals in insurance company also deriving the premium amount from most of the insured or many insured but all the insured will never get full amount of losses once any of ones in this insurance company or any one of the insured are getting losses this losses will going to share by all the insurance holders next the principles of insurance the insurance companies also have some of the principles on the basis of the principles only the insurance company will have take all the responsibilities and taking some of the actions so among these principles first one is at most good faith so according to these principles both insurer and the insured should enter into the contract in good faith in good faith mean so both of them the insurer and the insured also have to transferring their are providing the informations about all the details the insurer have to provide all the details of the properties to the insurance company and at the same time the insurance companies also have to inform about all the details on the insured so on the premium amount and the month of premium and on the basis and the principles of the insurance about everything has to tell to the insured so the insured should provide all the information that impacts the subject matter the insurer should provide all the details regarding insurance contract so both the insurer and the insured should display good faith towards each other in regard to the contract so the insurance companies also have to provide all the informations about the contract of under the types of insurance like that the insured the policy holder also have to provide all the informations about the subject matter for example mr 1 we will say the anand mr m is a heart patient but he hides this fact to the lic while taking a life policies on this death due to a heart attack the lic can refuse to pay the compensation to his legal representative because the material fact was not disclosed by the insured so before we are taking the lic policies or the life policies we have to tell this matter about the heart problem so because of that they will allot some more amount of premium but if you are not telling about the heart problem and at later if they come to know so the lic companies will refuse to come and the money next insurable interest the insured must have the insurable interest in the subject matter of insurance the insurable interest means some pecuniary interest in the subject matter of the insurance contract the insured must have an interest in the preservation of the thing or life insured so that they will suffer financially and the happening of the event against which they are insured for example when we have the policy lcs policies on the basis of the fire policies according to the fire policies the insurance holder that means the insured the insured must have some of the profit when they have the vehicles and they must suffering after losing that vehicles for example one of the persons are taking the fire policies on their vehicles and by any of the fire accident the vehicle is get lost but before having this vehicle that insured must have some of the financial benefit and after losing this vehicle he must suffering by losing that vehicles that one the insurable interest
Next, indemnify. So indemnify means security or compensation against loss or damages. In insurance, the insured would be compensated with the amount equivalent to the actual loss or not the amount exceeding the loss. So when any of the properties come into the accident and when they are going to loss, the insured must be getting or must be have the possible to getting the equal to the premium amount or the real losses only. So this principle ensures that the insured does not make any profit out of the insurance. The principles of indemnify is applicable to the property insurance alone. So when we are taking the insurance on any of the property and the property is come to the accident, so the insured will get the minimum amount of the property. For example, a businessman gets his stock of goods insured for 5 lakhs. If the goods are destroyed by the fire, the insurance company will be liable to pay compensations for the loss caused to the insured. However, maximum compensation shall be 5 lakhs even if loss is more than this. The principle of indemnify is not applicable to life insurance because one cannot estimate the loss due to the death of a person. We can easily calculate the value of one property but we will never calculate the value of one person, right? But the, according to the indemnify, the principles of indemnify, the businessman or the insured company will get the lower price than their premium price. So the insurance company will never allow to the insurance, insurance holder to get more amount than their premium amount. Next, Casa Proxima. So the word Casa Proxima means the nearest cause. The nearest cause. So according to this principle, when the loss is result of two or more cause, the proximate cause only will be taken into the consideration. The direct, the most dominant and most effective cause of loss should be taken into consideration. The insurance company is not liable for the remote cause. For example, one of the property is get the insurance by the fire and the insurance company is also inquired in which reasons the fire accident was happened. And if they come to know by one of the recent at the nearest causes only, by the nearest causes only, if the accident is arised means they will get the compensations. And if they come to know the reason is just so far, means they will never get the compensations. Next, contributions. So the same subject matter may be insured with more than one insurer then it is known as double insurance. In such a case, the insurance claim to be paid to the insured must be shared and contributed by all insurers in proportion to the sum assured by each one of them. Sometimes some of the peoples will take one or two more policies from the one or two more policies companies. So when they are taking the Policies from one or two more policies companies or LSEs companies or the insurance companies. And if they get some of the cause, some of the accident, if they get some of the losses from any of the accident, the two insurance company join together and they will compensate as a ratio. For example, a businessman gets his factory insured against fire for 10 lakhs 
with insurance A and uh, 5 lakhs with insurer B. Due to fire, a loss of 1,50,000 acute, then insurers A and B will contribute the loss in the ratio of 2.1. So A will pay 1 lakh rupees and B will pay 50,000. Because one of the business companies, one of the insurance companies can have, can get more premium amount from the insured. And another one of the insurance companies may get the low premium amount from the insurance companies. So the insured will get the compensations from the two insurance companies. So these principles is considered as double business, double insurance. Next is subrogations. So subrogations means stripping the suits on others. According to these principles, once the claim of the insured has been settled, the ownership right of the subject matter of insurance passes on the insurer. Otherwise, the insured will realize more than the actual loss, which goes against the principle of indemnity. This is because the insured cannot make any profit by selling the damaged property. For example, we have one of the vehicles and if the vehicles also stuck with the stuck in a accident and some of the parts also damaged and broken. But when we have the insur insurance, we can claim some of the compensations of losses from the insurance companies. But after receiving the compensation compensate amount from the insurance companies, we have to provide the damaged vehicles to the insurance companies. Otherwise, they will take in themselves from the insured. Because after getting the uh, compensation amount from the broken vehicles, we have some of the sons to providing that vehicle to the hackers. So only. Next, mitigations. Mitigations mean, in case of mishaps, the insured must take off all possible steps to reduce or mitigate the loss or damage to the subject matter of insurance. The principles ensues that the insured does not become negligent about the safety of the subject matter after taking the insurance policy. The insured is expected to act in a manner as if the subject matter has been insured. If appropriate steps are not taken to save the property, then the insured may not get the full compensation from the insurance. For example, when we have one of the vehicles and we are taking the insurance policies or the fire policies on the vehicles and the vehicles also getting the losses by fire. But in the same time, when we are seeing the vehicle is firing, the vehicle is burning from fire, so we have to take some of the steps to mitigate the losses. Really, when we have some of the interest on the vehicles, we will must take some of the effort to mitigate the accident and the fire. Suppose if the insurance companies come to know that the insured were not taken any of the steps to mitigate the losses and the accident, the insurance companies will never give more compensation. So the principles are by having these seven principles only the insurance companies are taking some of the insurance policies. Next types of insurance. The insurance covers different types of risks. All context of insurance can be broadly classified as different types. So mostly it will classify as broadly two types. First one is life insurance and non-life insurance. 
it can be further classified into fire insurance marine insurance and the health insurance and some different type of the insurance first we will say about the life insurance if you are considering if you are taking the life insurance the life insurance also has some of the types so life insurance may be defined as a contract in which the insurance company called insurer undertakes to insure the life of the persons called assured in exchange of some of the money called the premium which may be paid in one lump sum or monthly quarterly halfly or yearly so normally we will taking some of the policies on our life because we will never know about the last time or the expired of our life so the insurance company called the insured to paying the premium on the weekly or monthly or yearly but after our death after our some of the particular age we will get or our nominee our representative will get the premium amount from the insurance company so why we have to take the life insurance first the life insurance provides protection to the family at premature death of an individual suppose if you are taking the life insurance by having the on our 17th age till our 17th age or our 18th age we are taking the life insurance and before the 18th or the mature time if you are dead our family members will get the profit and some of the losses also will be compensated by the insurance company next the life insurance gives adequate amount at an old age when earning capacity is reduced so even before the premature of our insurance policies the same persons will get the all amount so it will helpful to their age at times because all the people are unable to earning in their old age next the life insurance is not only a protection but is a sort of investment because a certain sum of free turnable to the assured at the time of death or the expiry of the certain period next the types of life insurance even in the life insurance some of the types are there first one is whole life policies so in this kind of policy the sum insured is payable only on the death of the assured to the beneficiaries or higher of the deceased so on the whole life policies after death only we will get the premium amount but the insurance holders will never get this amount so on because of the on behalf of them their family will get the whole amount the premium is payable for a fixed period 20 years or 30 years or for the whole life of the assured so if the premium is payable for a fixed period the policy will continue till the death of the assured next endowment life assurance policies so under this type of policies the insurer undertakes to pay the assured a specified sum on the attainment of a particular age or on his death so before our matured period we can get the premium amount from the insurance companies so when he attains a particular age the same patients also will get the possible to will get the money next joint life policies the policy is taken up jointly and the lives of two or more persons is known as joint life policies and the death of any one persons the assured sum or policy money is paid to the other survivor of survivors the premium is paid jointly or by either of them 
in installments per lump sum. So usually if you are seeing who will take this type of the policies means this type of the policy is taken up by the husband and wife jointly or by two partners in a partnership firm and some all the partners in the partnership organizations also they will take the joint life policies. Next annuity policies. So under this policies the assured sum or policy money is payable in monthly or annual installment after the assured attains a certain age. So in this case either the whole amount of the premium is paid once or premium is paid in the installment over a certain period. So anyway so after completing the matured period the patients will get before the maturity period also that persons can able to get the possible to able to get the money from the insurance company next children's endowment policies this policy is taken to provide funds for the education or marriage of children for example g1 anurag policies in this policies the amount of payable by the insurer when the children attain a particular age the premium is paid by the persons entering into the contract however no premium will be paid if she dies before the maturity of the policies so normally our parents also will take this type of the children endowment policies the central government also bringing the many types of the children endowment policies so the children endowment policies will be helpful to the children after attaining their particular age and if they need the amount of money for their education and for their marriage so it will be useful okay students i think it's enough so in these principles of insurance we have any doubt please ask me and just to take the principles of insurance as your study portions Thank you.